Hello, I'm Kirsty Scott and this is news from Stirling Council. The Council's £6 million Goosecroft housing development has been completed and the first tenants are due to move in shortly. The signature project, which provides affordable housing alongside retail and office space, was started in late 2014. The state-of-the-art building opposite Stirling train station includes 53 one and two bedroom flats which have all now been led and features original artwork commissioned by Creative Stirling. Housing convener Violet Weir told us more about the project. This development came about because we've got people on our waiting list that are maybe still living at home, they're in their 30s, couples in fact that can't afford to, to rent in the private sector, that can't afford the deposit to buy their properties. So this came about to actually provide them with affordable housing. And it actually has been very successful so far. We've got 139, or the last time we looked, 139 on the waiting list. Um, a great initiative. It means that Stirling Council will maintain the building. Um, people will be supplied with their carpets and white goods. So if it's a start-up home, it's ideal. If it's a couple, young couple, or if it's a single person on their own who are earning money but just can't afford to go that extra step, it gives them a kind of stepping stone so that um, they may in the future be able to move on to buying the property if that's what they desire. The artwork as well that's there looks fantastic and I've already spoke to Creative Stirling about that. Um, it's a great initiative because it means in the future people, if they've got a special app on their phone, will be able to point it at the artwork and they will be able to get a story of what was in that vicinity at the time and it will go back history. So it's not just an iconic building but it's actually got some historical content there as well. In all, the Council will be investing over £9 million this year as part of a programme of new house building which began in 2010 and will provide 210 new houses in the area. Since 2012, Stirling Council has either built or purchased more than 100 new flats and houses for social rent. In other news, the Council has become the latest member of a scheme aimed at preserving Stirling's historic buildings. The Traditional Buildings Health Check Scheme is the first of its kind in Scotland and is open to all owners of traditional building types within the City of Stirling boundary. Twelve of the Council's priority buildings have now been added to the scheme, including the toll booth, municipal buildings and Old Town Jail. The distinctive Wolf Craig building on the corner of Dumbarton Road and Port Street, which was built in 1897, has become the scheme's 100th member. Plain Country Park is to get a new wildflower area this month. Stirling Council Rangers have identified an area of grass which will be given over to the bees and butterflies as a nectar food source. The grass will be lifted and the earth sown with a wet meadow mix. It will take a few months for the plants to get established so the rangers are asking all humans and animals to keep off the area in the meantime to let it grow. And finally, Stirling Council Apprentice Fisheries Bailiff Ryan Binney has won the Lantra Learner of the Year Award for Fisheries Management and Environmental Conservation. It's the second time that Ryan has made the final of this national competition and he took the top spot at a ceremony last night in Dunblane. This has been news from Stirling Council.